first thing you want to do as a user of Confluence is to look at pages that are there already. Actually, I can't show you in this video because I don't have access to the instance you're in. So you may just want to look around uh, what other people did. And then the first step you can do actively is you can create a page. Uh, creating a page will help you understand how this software is used to share information, to collaborate with others, and to gain some trust how to use it and uh, when to use it. So um, the main goal of this video is to make you create a page. No matter in which Confluence instance you want to work, if you create one with our Swift instance um, creation service or if you have one already, um, in the standard layout at least, you'll find a so-called create, uh, create button that will help you to create a new page. It, uh, in, in the standard instance, it's here. It may be that your instance looks quite different from the CBIT Media instance that I'm using here, but you'll still find that Create button, I'm pretty sure. If not, tell me in the comments, but uh, it's likely that you may have another theme, and in this theme, the Create button should be very prominent also. If not, that's an error. Okay, however, you click that Create button, and the first thing you get is um, the option to choose a template that you can work with. Like if you wanted to create a, a meeting note or an agenda, you could uh, use meeting notes and have some pre-populated um, content in the page. We won't do that here to keep the things simple. You have to select the space or you should select the space. Actually, um, there's my personal space. Every user can create a personal space uh, pre-populated here. I could use any other space that I wanted uh, as this should be um, only a demonstration for you and I'm not planning to create too much content in this video. Um, I'll put it in this personal space and use a blank page. I simply hit create and then a new page opens with this edit page dialog, which is pretty clean. Um, the main mandatory thing that you need to have for a wiki page is the title. So. To keep things simple for me while recording this, I'm going to tell you something about me and my hobbies, which could be a page that you create also. So uh, first thing, I'm going to create a, uh, it's like, like Microsoft Word actually, um, apart from that com the Confluence Rich Text Editor beats Microsoft Word hands down, but uh, you'll have to watch a couple of other videos to find out why because I want this to be um, pretty easy here. So let's choose a heading and uh, say my name is Martin Siebert. So next thing is um, my hobbies. Oh, this was the shortcut already. So if you type H2 for uh, heading two and a dot, it will automatically after the space recognize that my Activities at Seabird Media. And there are other things, like if you do two slashes, it thinks you want to do a, a date. Actually, I don't want to do it uh, to uh, offer a date, so I'm going to hit escape and then I'll just get my Seabird Media. And, um, <clears throat> but normally, if you don't know all these H2 things, and so you'll just use these buttons here to bubble in the hobbies, which is playing golf, playing chess, doing yoga, reading. And then my activities at Secret Media is educating customers and getting to know their needs. So if you have any wishes what I should be doing in terms of videos, please put it in the comments down there. Um, uh, doing marketing for Seabird Media Services. And last but not least, uh, moving our values so 
okay, these should be my activities at Civic Media, and then blah, 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 oh, hold on, blah, 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 blah. Um, now, this could be my page, I just hit save, and that's it. Let's do one more trick here, and um, structure the page into two uh, separate columns. What do you do here? You can use a so-called page layout. Click here, and then you add a section below, and you add another section, and then the middle section should be two columns. And then I'll copy this one on the bottom. And I say my activities are more important, so they are going to the left side. Let's copy them. Put them here. Use the hobbies. Cut and paste. And then erase all the irrelevant line feeds and hit save. And I have a nice little page about my activities at Civic Media and my hobbies. Um, there are so many other things that I could insert, like pictures, attachments. I could um, insert content of other pages, um, a lot of interactive stuff, automatically updating lists of other pages, and um, and there are a lot of. I could import a drawing, um, uh, use other macros, do a gallery of photos that I did when playing golf and chess, and so on. Um, Basically, that's it for now. Um, if you want to know more about how to create and edit pages, you may want to look at uh, the Watch Later app. Actually, there should be similar apps um, for Android. Actually, I have an iPhone, so I don't know. Or I know that Watch Later is a very good app to download these videos and watch on the train, on the bus, whenever you're on the go and um, the web connection may not be as good. Um, maybe this is something you want to do and find out more about how to use Confluence with your team. I would be very glad to be able to tell you. If you want to know something else, just put it in the comments so that I know. Thanks, bye.